Am I the one? Or should they wait for another one? I'm traveling as a young man, going to school. After I had a dream of dying, and my mother woke me up when everyone was now putting soil on top of my coffin, as I was in the coffin. This is a dream I had. And I knew if I complete this dream to a level where they put all the soil and cover this, I'm dead. And my mother said, wake up, you are late for school. Wow. Huh? I said, hey, what if no one wakes you up? Do you know the difference between sleep and death? There's a thin line. You don't know you are sleeping. You also don't know you are dead. What if you don't wake up? And I'm going to school like this. And a voice spoke from a custard apple. An African custard. That's what we have in our, on our logo. I am the one that God spoke to. Great one. God says, I've sent you as a prophet to the nation. There are words in that I will never tell you. But just imagine that a boy of my age is called by God through a tree. It wasn't burning. There was no fire. I wish I had that testimony where fire engulfed this and the leaves were not burning like Moses. But mine was extraordinary. To a point that at that young age, I, was, I did not have a sense to doubt. And God said, I'm sending you to nations. I had not gone to any nation. I was young. Close to seven years. And God spoke. Said, I'm sending you to nations. Now all over the world, I feel stadiums. Whatever place I go to, I feel stadium. Different colors and nationalities. Different nationalities. Are you? You're hearing this? What is this? It is because I accepted that I was the one. And I do not care, listen to me, for what God has told me in the prophetic, I lead a dispensation. Anyone, listen, anyone can come up and be angry that angel says he leads a dispensation. I will never lie to on what God has told me. What God has told me is I'm a leader to this dispensation. In the prophetic. There are others that are apostolic leaders. There are others maybe that are prophetic teachers. Eh, that's another story. This has nothing to do with how many years you've been prophesying. It's the grace to lead a dispensation. It is not how sharp you are. It's the grace to be a leader. Brother Branham was a leader in the prophetic. Not because he was sharper than prophets. That's why people are trying to compare the prophecies of Brother Branham and their prophecies. Oh, wow, wow. This one mentioned 70 names. Brother Branham only mentioned two things or three things. That's not what made him sharp. Let me show you. You see, at the top there, there is a face. There is a head and a nose. Okay, bring the other one so that they can see it. That is the face of Brother Branham. When God created Mount Catalina, he put the face of a prophet who was going to come thousand years later. Ah. Now you see you are even having a problem now. <laughs> you think you are the same? Men of God are not created equal. I said men of God are not created equal. Women of God are not created equal. You think we are the same. That's the problem with you. You think we are the same. I was standing there with Brother Dave and, and Pastor Nyasha when the honorable member of parliament came there and he parked outside there. And when he packed the first time, he said, look, I'm sick everywhere. And I just need something. Please, prophet, do something for me. I said, no, I'm going to send, I'm going to send Pastor Felix with something. You go to the prayer altar I pray on in the Good News City. Nobody prays with me there. I said, you go there. Take him to that location. But I gave Pastor Felix some things to say, take this guy. Let him go there. You go together and you tell me when you finish. He said, okay, we finished. Never gave me a report. Never, nobody came to me because they didn't get, he didn't even call Pastor Felix. Then he just drove straight, packed out there. And we saw him. I said to the protocol, let him come. Hey, is that not true? He was there. And he came there and said, sir, I want to tell you what happened after 
I went to that location. He said I was sitting, right? He said I was sitting. And I, and I saw a man. And I saw a man come in with white clothes. With two trays. One tray to the left, one tray to the right. He said there were uh, two, two people. He two helpers. The white two helpers. With wa- wearing white. He said I was sitting down, not dreaming. So then the man came and gave me and just grabbed my, my tummy like this and opened my tummy up. He said he began to collect things and put in the trays. And replacing. And what? And replacing with the things that are there. And replacing other parts of the body with new parts. Uh-uh. We are not doing play things here. No. That's why Pastor Chris says, what you are going to see now, what you've been doing was child's play. Ah! I said, what do you mean? Me. I was doing child's play. I filled up stadiums. Went to Uganda. We had a 70,000 seater filled to capacity. And we had another stadium as an overflow. And Pastor Chris said, you have not done anything. What you did was child's play. said, wait for what's coming. You think we have started? I said, wait for what's coming. Wait for what's coming. Wait for what's coming. He said, it's child's play. Then he said, in front of you, there is no more playground. No football, no netball, no joking. We're just going straight to fire on the altar. I recalibrated the lion is back. What is really taking place? That the power of God can be this valid that people understand I'm the only one that is there. Amos 7 13. But prophesy not again anymore at Bethel, for it is the king's chapel and it is the king's court. Verse 14. Then answered Amos and said, Amaziah, I was not a prophet. I, I, I knew you didn't get that. I didn't, you, 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 you didn't get that. I was not a prophet. Neither was I a prophet's son. But I was a headman. And a gatherer of sycamore fruit. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock. And the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy unto my people Israel. Maybe you were not called by God. Call him. Maybe you were not touched by God. Touch him. I'm not saying I wasn't that. I was a headsman. As I was heading goats and cattle, God said, prophesy. Huh? How? Go. Go and do it. Man of God, you don't understand. I'm not a prophet like you. Go. I'm not a teacher like you. Teach. I'm not an evangelist. Evangelize. Have you not heard called temporary teachers? In Africa, there are things called temporary teachers. They didn't go to college. They are temporary. As long as there is something called teacher there, I'm okay with it. Temporary, short time, long time, it doesn't matter. As long as I teach something, I'm here to give you the power to take your position. Your family might have chosen you and said you're nothing. They might have called you nothing. But I'm here to redefine your calling. You are something. And you are somebody. Some of you are saying, but I've already answered the call of God upon my life. John, he that believeth on me as the scripture has said, out of their belly shall flow a river. What river has come out of you? What river is failing to come out? Because these are rivers. And all we have seen is a river. And some of you have seen a stream. It says rivers of living water. I'm a crossover leader. You will not just find me pushing the pulpit. No. I'm in politics. I'm in business. 
out of his belly shall flow rivers. Not one stream. Rivers. Turbulent. Rivers of living water. What we have seen is a spring. A weak one. What you think you have shown the world is everything. No. You have only shown the world a very weak stream. It's only one river that came out. And you thought, my God, if this river is not working the way I want it. Maybe the river that you are showing now is not the one that will give you the money to survive on. What if there is another river to Conga? What if there is another river to Conga? How will you know? When you go deeper into the things and you go deeper into the things, you realize, wait a minute, this river is flowing better. This one is flowing better. This one is flowing better. Eh, what is it that the Lord will use you for? What if the Lord wants you to be a politician? What if the Lord wants to take over your life? And be that thing that confounds the politicians, confounds the doctors and, and lecturers at university. What if you are the one? Oh, but prophet, you don't know where I come from. I come from Zaka, Zimbabwe African Killers Association. But they cannot write the history of the prophetic without me. They can't. There is a cry for your life to move. 